So the electroretinogram is a, a test of retinal function and because the retina is a part of the brain, it's a nice way of accessing brain function and so where there's a neurodevelopmental disorder or a neurodegenerative disorder, often we'll find changes in the retina and the ERG is a simple way of objectively assessing how the retina is performing. We've been looking at autism in particular because this sort of affects perhaps one in a hundred children um, and is growing in prevalence and it's often sort of diagnosed a little bit late, three, four or five years of age and often parents may have already had another child and just suddenly find themselves with one or two children on the spectrum. So our aim is to really to get a, a test which can pick up children very early which may have signs of a neurodevelopmental disorder, perhaps at the age of one or even two at the very latest. Um, and so we can sort of pick up sort of signs in the, in the retina, which is objective and quick to do, easy to do, um, and screen children that might be at risk or showing some sort of delay in their language or, or motor skills or is there any concerns in the family, perhaps it's a family history of autism or, or other diseases that they're worried about. We first did a, a popular study in the UK in adults um, and we sort of found there were differences in part of the ERG and the next question was then, well, okay, it's fine in adults, what about children and young populations? So we've been looking at children from the age of five up to about 21, so young adolescents, and about 80 children across the UK, US and Flinders, and you know, our findings support that, that there is a difference in the retina's sort of response to light in, in autism. It came about because my, my child was sort of diagnosed with autism and sort of, and it took a while to get him uh, diagnosed. And I think th as a parent, you sort of, win, if, only, if only we'd known earlier, that would have been so much so much easier or better you know, to our, help our understanding. Well, it's, it's going to be an early diagnosis, which is going to mean early intervention, which is good for the child, but also for the family to know and to understand and to plan and to sort of have some understanding and explanations to what's going wrong, what, what is different about their child, so they can start to come to terms with that earlier and sooner and get the necessary support. Because certainly speech and language is sort of a big issue with autism and developing speech and getting that inter intervention happening sooner really improves the outcomes for the child.